Hey, how's it going? You alright? So today I'm going to be doing something that I honestly never thought that I would be doing, which is listening to and reacting to a new Linkin Park song. Now I suppose it's not technically new, I believe it's a, an old demo maybe, uh, I think from the uh, Meteora days. And actually Meteora is my favourite Linkin Park album, so yeah, very interested to, uh, to hear this, uh, considering that's from, it's from around that kind of time. It feels strange, I'm feeling excited, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling happy. Like a hell of a lot of people, Linkin Park for me were the gateway kind of band into the kind of music that I uh, listen to now. Just one of those first bands that I fell in love with when I discovered them. It was like, oh shit, I, I didn't know music could sound like this. So yeah, this is going to be, I don't know, it's, it's emotional probably. And as I explained all these, I, I listed off these different things I'm feeling. Of course, it's feeling a bit odd um, but I'm just gonna jump into it let's go Lincoln Park lost Uh, it's so interesting hearing this voice in you know, something new, or at least something I've not heard before. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> um. What I was gonna say, <laughs> and then, then I just stopped. Was just uh, I was gonna say such obviously an iconic voice. That chorus is just yeah, just just shows it off. And as I said, it, it, I thought this was gonna feel strange, and it. It is, it's interesting, um, interesting and it's just strange like hearing that iconic voice again uh, in a song that I've not heard yet, um, <laughs> just because it's obviously, you know, I am a massive Linkin Park fan, always have been uh, since I discovered them, uh, so, you know, I've heard this voice so much over the years, and yeah, just hearing it and something else hearing it in in a thing that's new to me it's just wild um and beautiful as always anyway uh, let's carry on i will always be afraid of the damage i received broken promises they made and how i've always been fantastic with their music videos as well. It's a really cool and interesting way they've done this one. I can sense this being stuck in my head for a long time. Try to 
lyrics are uh, crazy <laughs> with the, uh, you know, context of everything. There we, there we go, uh, there we go, um, Linkin Park lost. Oh god, and it was, um, <laughs> every bit as, every bit as emotional as I thought it was going to be, and more. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it kind of caught me off guard, I think that chorus really <sighs> hit me um, the first time round. I uh, paused it, I talked about it, I thought I got over it. And then it came in the second time round, and I almost lost it again. And the uh, I, I mentioned the lyrics there. In fact, I don't think I talked much during the bulk of the actual reaction part of this video of me doing it. So uh, I guess I saved most of it for now, just because I was, uh, you know, just listening and just kind of feeling it, just kind of soaking it all in. But um, yeah, as I was saying just now, and as I was saying about the lyrics, um, yeah, just crazy, obviously, with, as I said, the context of everything with uh, uh, Chester Bennington's situation. Um, and um, I think that's the thing. I think that's, for me, with Lincoln Park, uh, obviously, already, uh, obviously always loved their music just in general. But even, you know, back then when I was at school and I was listening to uh, their, their albums on repeat all the time, their lyrics always, even back then, were super relatable. And this song is obviously, you know, from back at that time. The, the lyrics were written back around that time. For what it is, they are, whether it's good or bad, I don't know, but they're <laughs> as, as every bit as relatable now as they were back then. Yeah. This was, um, as I said earlier, I was feeling excited, but also sad, but also happy. And uh, I feel like I'm, I'm still feeling all of those feelings still, especially the sad and the happy. <laughs> sad, again, because of the context of stuff, but happy to sort of have this new piece of material to uh, listen to and enjoy and um, sing along to a lot. I'm going to be singing it all around the house. Uh, I know that. But yeah, I think that's all I can really say. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments down below what you uh, what you thought of this. If, um, if it got you feeling as uh, emotional as it did me, if that makes sense. Is that a sentence? Does that sentence work? Tell me whether that, you know, tell me in the comments whether that sentence made any sense and if, if it was, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go. Sing this, sing this around the house. Oh, I'm going to sing it to my cats.